Okay. Ah! Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark. So, I know this is not a traditional first episode on a new map. Um, but I got some explaining to do. Unfortunately, my first episode has a bunch of clips. A lot of it has a bunch of it where it's corrupted. <laughs> so it's rec I got parts where I can recover enough of it to make a video. Um, but I am going to have to make in filler parts such as this. So as you may see, I have a base I have set up. Now... Um, I've brought in basically all my kibble I've ever made over with me. This is it. And so what I brought, teleport pad generator, bed. I had to go back for a bed and feeding trough in the cryo and that. So I had to go back for that stuff. Uh, that part got cut out for some reason in my record. I just never f remember to hit the button to record. I even have a part of me saying, yeah, let's go back. Never recorded me going back though for some reason. Guess I missed my button. Mutator's over there. But... Anyways, um, before I get into what I do have of me building this base and explaining what its intentions are for, I got some stuff to go over. So, I am now a YouTube partner. So, what that means is you guys can go and support the channel by joining up as a YouTube member. Now, I have gone and I have looked at the price. Um, I have it set for $1.99, and because of that, after tax, it's a dollar. Th it's two thirteen, not a dollar thirteen. It's two thirteen, and yeah. So as for now, we're just doing a little bit of a test run here at the memberships. They are going to be changing, and all that. So yeah, I might try and figure out how to get a custom, like role for people that are members on YouTube and the Discord. Also, I do have a Discord, and I am working on it again. So do feel free to go and join. And enough of the memberships. Please go and join them. I would like the support. Um, but yeah. Anyways, on to the footage I, of what I have of me building the base. And I'm going to go as central as I can here in the water. And we're going to set up a base today. And hopefully, after we set up the base... We can go tame a water creature. Because we're going to need one. Now I got some ideas on one I want to tame. Now, as you may notice, I got basically everything I need. I kind of preset this up. Mostly just this part and then proceeded to pick it back up and transfer us over. But basically, I brought along all the kibble I've made over my arc journey. Just so that way I will not at all need a farm or anything. All I technically need here is a cryo fridge, a generator, a hatchery, or some fridges, and those. And maybe a bed. I'll get a bed here in a minute. Oh, well, yeah, I'll bring a bed over here. I forgot to bring one. Shoot, I should, that's fine. Well, that fridge for now. Uh, but in terms of generators, you can go here. You can get a hundred of this. I brought over a bunch of element as well, and you may have noticed already, I can use tech in fly. You may also notice here later, I can use flyers as well. So, that's a setting I have turned on for Genesis and all that. Um, but unfortunately, due to our new time frame for Ark, we're going to be crunching this down pretty quick. So we're mostly just going to be doing taming videos. I am not going to be building an art or bases on Genesis at all. We're just going to have an area. This is our base right here. We're just going to have an area to store dinos and breed them. That's legit all I need. And yeah, so that's basically it. What I have a lot more of me uh, recording of the base than I actually do of well the Ferox taming. So this was a double whammy video. I decided to set up this si quite simple base, as you guys may know. So yes, it is very simple. And then I decided to go and tame up some Furoxes. And well, it was quite an entertaining time. I do definitely got some entertaining clips of me taming the Furoxes. Unfortunately, I did lose a lot of the really entertaining ones. But I do got one I think I still managed to keep. Or was able to recover a lot of the 
bits of it and piece it somewhat decently together. And here we are. The here we Arctic. Are right on target. So what we need to do here, let's get up top. Let's figure out how to tame a Ferox first. I didn't realize that. All I know is you feed them element and then they hulk out. Like what does it mean by use? Okay, I understand now. Zero. Now we wait up here. Okay. Don't hurt me! I can't jump. I can't jump or sprint. I can hover away, though. Now that it's tame... Oh, I hope it stays that cute. Addiction. Five element required. Hey, hey. Oh, wait, you're tamed? Oh, I thought you were unconscious or something. Okay. So, yeah. As you can see, I have significantly less footage there for the Ferox taming. Um, but I did manage to save some of it this time around. And, well, yeah. But uh, to basically finish up this video here, I do want to do a little bit of the breeding process here. So, basically, what has happened so far is I've gotten twins that have both managed to come out with the stats I need from the other mother. I have uh, removed her from the equation just to, so I could recover some element because uh, these guys have a special ability like in their options to, well, yeah. Well, they have element stashes on them. And well, element stashes will cause them to take my element, the very limited element, by the way, that I brought with me, um, basically they have half of them on it because at first I thought I needed to have them addicted, but thanks to better dinos, I don't need to have them addicted at all. They just tame, or they just breathe. I'm, I am losing my mind. But yeah, anyways, as for now, I'm waiting for these two to grow up, and as for these two, I'm waiting for them to, well, gestate this one and pop out another one, so that way I can can continue uh making the line of breeding and eventually have my breeding pair so progress update these two furoxes are definitely uh well as you may notice here they are leveled up now what i'm going to be doing here is i am taking one that i'm just going to run off here and i'm going to use it as my personal for now i will also have another personal that is a 100 percented one um, but yeah, so we're gonna have that. So we got these guys. This guy right here is for the breeding uh, This guy over here is gonna be for personal use now. I need to figure out a name for him Alrighty, so here is gremlin and what we're gonna do basically with gremlin is We're gonna grab our element out real quick and yeah, this is what we do There's one there's his Hulk form. Oh, yeah. We need it. We, I'm sorry. We needed at least one. One in the video where we have one of our personal ones hulked out. But, yeah. Oh, this guy looks awesome. It's awesome. The purple eyes, again. That's, like, just a nice... I think all of them have purple eyes when they hulk out. It's just, like, an element thing, I believe. But, yeah. It just reminds me of Aberration, the purple. Like, the forearms, the Hulk form, like, yeah. This dude is just awesome. He's, they're starting out with a decent 10,000 health in Hulk form. Now, we do also got other forms of increasing addiction. So, what I'd like to get... There. We'll stop there at 25%. I really don't know what addiction does for you guys. But, I think for now, I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to give you... Whoa, ooh. One more point into health. I bet you guys heal up a lot faster when you're little. You probably do. That guy has three. Where's uh, you? How much health did you start? You have 500, so. What is that multiplier then? So, it's almost like a 10 time multiplier. Oh my god! You get like 10 times in your whole. I guess you're like 10 times the size. So. 
What I'd like to do, let's check the breeding here beforehand. What what you doing? All right, we're going to let this one pop out and then we'll go do that. All right, I so that other uh Ferox was not any good. So what I did was I came over here on Gremlin and now what we're going to do is just essentially beat up a bunch of guys, figure out what this guy does. All right, so right quick clicks a slam. Let's go take out these Procroptodonts. That's a nice yellow one, honestly. That one's look really nice. All right, that that one's a slam. What does this do? Okay, so I'm kind of just slashing through stuff. Nice. Um, Anki, let's... Ooh, no, you. Let's see what C does. Boulder. Okay, so C's the boulder. Killed the fairy there. And what else do we got? We got another fairy up here. Let's see if I can hit you with a boulder. But it bounced off the rock right there in front of you. Jeez. What's going on? Boom. Wah. That one's actually pretty easy. How did these hurt? Alright, that one actually hurt. Okay, I give I can give him more element if I have it on my hopper. That's something that's nice to know. So what I would really like, definitely on this guy, is more melee. Look at that. Oh. Do they actually wait, hold up, do they got an X variant? I swear that just said X. I believe you get one, right? It won't tell me. So this guy heals, all right. Ooh, we got a spam attack off. Where'd that Utah go? I want to beat up that Utah. There it is. Nope, no, oh God. I got like somewhat control over him. Oh, I guess this one, like, does a damage debuff on me? Come on, go. Drop. Drop. You're getting so close. Yes! You're only level 15. Okay. Good thing you're only level 15. If you were any higher, you probably would have beat me to death. Okay. Let's get a little bit more weight on you. Why not? You know, I'm pretty sure... It's a damn squatch. There's a lot of colorful creatures around the market, bro, actually. Looking around, like, look, another day down this colorful. Is that a phoenix? No, that's just an Argentavis that looks like a phoenix. Oh my god, look at the colors on it. I honestly thought that was a phoenix at first. No, that's just an Argentavis. I thought for some reason they were spawning in the Genesis biome. I thought that might be a bug with the mod. Nope. It's legit just a god dang RG. Trying not to cuss anymore. It's getting real difficult here not to cuss on this channel. Ooh, what is this? I've not looked at any of these yet. Is this one of like basically the glitches? Yeah, these are basically the explorer notes for this one. So Aces, right? we'll collect it and boom. Some sort of stack in a Zero way. hexagons added. So what, I get no hexagons for it? Well, that's not fair. Huh. Um, you know what I want to do? I want to head up. We need to head up the mountain. That's where I want to go. Okay, this is actually a much more challenging task than I thought it would be. Like, I'm climbing a mountain. I'm betting I'm probably not even supposed to climb this thing. So, we'll probably eventually here hit an area where it's like, nope, no more. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. Every now and again you get a nice little ledge like this one that you could get a nice gain on then you get one like this where it's yeah 
you just slide. I'm 100% certain that I'm not supposed to do this this way. There's probably, like, another side of this mountain that was actually... Like, look at this. There's a path. There's a path like there is in Skyrim. Come here. You don't get to live. My question is, what were you fighting beforehand? That was a 145 day of dawn. Oh, damn. I didn't expect 145 on the mountain. There's just a random RG. Now, legend says there should be a K. Ooh, another colorful day of dawn. They're just really colorful on Genesis, I guess. Um, I think I might have the summer event still turned on. I thought I turned it off, but it might be. Um, it might most definitely be, because look at that. Another Phoenix looking Argentavis. Okay, so I found one of those mission terminals up here, which was I hit the tab button. Okay, so I hit the tab button on accident, but I found one of those mission terminals, and I also found another glitch node. Yes. Hopefully, you have just zero hexagons. Is that a bug, or is that what I'm supposed to get? Okay, but anyways, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for now, but again, a reminder here, I do now have channel memberships. I would really appreciate it if you guys would go and join up on those. Um, if you do, I should be able to hear to able to afford a server for you guys to be able to hop on. Now, depending on how well you guys actually do, depends on if it's free or not, or locked to the people that are actually basically paying for it, which are the members. So yeah. But anyways, I also have a Discord, so go ahead and join the Discord if you would like. You get a lot more time to spend with me. I often hang out in there, so you guys can often just hop in and talk to me. So, yeah. Anyways, it's been Gunshamori, signing off. <laughs>